Hello people this is Self Tuts and we are continuing our series on Kafka for beginners and in this video we will learn about Kafka topic partition so Kafka topic partition is the most important concept that you need to understand if you want to design a highly scalable Kafka architecture or if you have a product where the Kafka is needed and you need to design a scalable system so topic partitioning concept is the most fundamental and the most important which will lay the groundwork and then you can design any architecture whatever you want so let's go into the details of Kafka topic partition a Kafka topic is divided into multiple part and that is called partition. So in the previous video, we have seen what is a topic inside Kafka ecosystem. So if you go inside the topic, then that topic is divided into multiple parts and those parts are called individual partitions. Partitions can be considered as a linear data structure, just like array. These are also called as commit log. So let's say this is a topic. So this is a topic. I'm representing it with this structure that is this symbol. So this is a topic and this is the partition. So inside a topic, you have an array like data structure and this array like data structure is called the topic partition. Messages are actually published to a topic partition. So basically we have learned in previous videos that a publisher sends the message to a topic and the topic stores it. But in real sense, the messages are actually in stored inside this topic partition. So this topic is a, log a logical entity, but the real entity is what it is topic partition. Now every partition has a partition number. So if you create a partition inside the topic of Kafka, then they will have a topic partition number and this designates the topic partition number. So you can say that zero is the partition number for this particular partition. Each partition has an increasing index called offset. So if you see here, then if this is an array, then what will happen? It will have its own index that is zero, one, two, three, four, and it when it will go up to long means it's up to the requirement that how, how many data is stored, what is the size of the data and other thing. So this index is called as partition offset. So you need to understand this, uh, this terminology regarding the Kafka topic and Kafka partition, which will help you later on. So every partition has a partition number and every partition has an increasing sequence of index that is called as partition offset. Now, new messages are always pushed at the rear end. So if you want to publish a new message, then you will always write at the end. So suppose you have published the message at this index one, then you can't mutate it. That is why data is immutable after publish. So once you have published the message inside the Kafka partition, then what will happen? It is immutable. You can't replace it or you can't modify it. If you want to publish a new message, it will always get appended at the end or at the rear end. So this is the data structure which forms the base or the core of your Kafka ecosystem. So inside a topic, the topic is divided into multiple parts and these parts are called partition. Every partition has a partition number and increasing sequence of index that is called as partition offset. Now let's see this example in which there is a broker and there is a topic with one partition and single broker. So this is a, let's say this is a machine where only one broker is present and we are creating a single topic and the number of partition is only one. So we have shown here that the number of partition is one. In that case, you will get this array like data structure where you will have only one partition and the partition number is zero and the offset starts from zero, one, two, three, and it is ever increasing. Now let's take the second case where we have a topic with three partition and the single broker. So let's say we have divided our partition uh, topic into three partition inside a single broker. So the Kafka server that we are running is only one and there is a topic. Let's say the name of the topic is topic one and we have divided that topic into three partition. In that case, all the partition will be present inside that particular Kafka server or Kafka broker. So the partition number will be what? It will be zero, one, two. So there are three. So it starts from zero and then one, then two. So these are three different partitions and there, these are three different commit logs you can say. And every uh, partition has an increasing index that is called partition offset and it starts from zero, one, two, three, and it is ever increasing. All the partitions are immutable, which means what you, you cannot delete or uh, modify the messages which are 
present at a particular offset you can only append new messages at the last so this was the example with a broker having only one partition inside a topic so you have to understand it that there is this is topic the blue color is saying as topic and there is one topic single topic it is present on a single broker that is only one kafka server and the number of partition is one so we got only one array like structure here what we have the broker is only one which means only one kafka server is running but we have three partitions inside a single topic so we got three array like structure so this is inside a single broker now in case of multi broker kafka cluster partitions for a topic are distributed across the whole cluster so in our production environment we always use a kafka cluster where there is more than one broker so in that case the partitions will be distributed across the whole ecosystem that it, it can be present in different nodes so let's take an example here so let's say this is a kafka cluster with a topic so there is a single topic for example we are taking with four partition and three broker so you need to understand there are four partitions for the topic and the number of brokers are three so as as soon as we see that there are three brokers which means that three machines are there and three different kafka servers are running so there is broker one there is broker two and broker three so these are the three machines where the kafka server is running and we have created a topic let's say it is topic one so all the topics are present here so as i have said previously also the topic is just a logical entity so we can say the topic is present on all the three servers that is broker one broker two and broker three now there are four partitions and this four partition will be what it will be distributed across the whole cluster so if we take the example then the partition zero will be present in the broker one so let's say when the zookeeper was assigning the partition the partition zero was assigned to broker one the partition one was assigned to broker two the partition two got assigned to broker three so it is not sequential that it will be in sequential number so we can get the partition two in broker three and then again the partition uh, three can be present inside this particular broker two so this can be anything it can be random all the three can be present here only or one is present here only all the uh, two can be present here one can be present here so the two a partition can be present here like let's say one and two are present here zero will be present here and three will be present here so this is random but the important concept that you need to understand is what in kafka cluster the topic partitions are distributed it is not in a single broker it can be anywhere inside any broker so zero is here one is here two is here and three is here so that if you are having four partitions so all the four partitions will be distributed so let's say you are publishing a message so the first message can go to this one that is broker one the second message can come here and the third message can go here and the fourth message can again go here or the fifth message can again go here because the partitions are distributed across the whole cluster so this is the scenario where you have a kafka cluster and you have four partitions inside a single topic so we are partitioning a single topic into four partition so the partitions are distributed across the cluster so hope you understand this concept because this is the important thing from where we will understand how the consumers are consuming from the topic how we can increase the efficiency of the whole kafka ecosystem that we have developed then how we can uh, set the replication factor another thing so this particular thing needs to be understood clearly then only we can move ahead so hope you like this video hope you like my channel Please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people. Thank you.